Oh, this is an update of where I'm with the R2-D2 legs. Um, I've been printing, uh, printing away as you see. I haven't actually sort of uh, um, dry fitted them until just now. Uh, to also to see what parts I was missing. I printed all the greebles out of one set of the greebles, all except one little section there, which is uh, printing at the moment. And just to see, because I wasn't quite sure how many you needed of each piece. So I sort of worked that out now. Um, I've, this is the right leg, that's the left leg, so I've, there was just one set of greebles I've printed, so I need to print them all for the other set, plus any um, ones that get duplicated. Um, but uh, So you can see where I am at the moment, so there's quite a bit of printing done there. This one is uh, more or less finished. I haven't glued anything together, as you can see. I've got uh, also to print uh, some more of these buttons so there's another one there, another one to go in there, so four of those in total. Um, I've got to print another set of these side pieces as well, because there was just you know, effectively one uh, set in there, so I wasn't sure there's another set to go on that side, so I've got to reprint that bit. Uh, so, so that's the only bit I've missed on my initial print. But apart from that, um, I think I've got most of the most of the uh, printing done on this on this leg. So I will show you how it goes together. Actually, as I say, it's all a dry fit, but I'll take it apart and you can see how it all assembles. Okay, so here's uh, a, a closer up. I've just uh, rearranged the bench a little bit because I had no space. This is the right leg, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, nothing is glued together. Um, just to get it all in, so you can see the whole thing. So I'll just take sections apart and you can actually see how it unassembles. These bits would glue onto there, same with that on that side. Uh, this I've got to glue together. That bottom section I've done, I'm missing that top section. whole leg that will come off that section comes off that piece comes off right there for a minute that section comes out That piece, as you can see, just slots in there. These pieces come out. I used uh, infill on this, which is probably not uh, wasn't necessary, because I ended up blocking up the holes. That's the middle section there. That locks in there. This piece locks together with these two locking rings and we just lock in like that this ring piece goes in there as you can see I'm not quite sure how that is meant to line up so uh, I'll have to look at that Another section of greeble there, which I'll glue these pieces together later. So that's just a small piece that goes in there. That's one of the buttons. There's another button to go in there. This piece comes off, which is the horseshoe. I think these are magnets that go in there. So this will just magnetize on. So the whole thing comes apart. Uh, I need to get some magnets to have a look at that. Uh, I have enough space here. This section, Again, you need to glue together, but that will just sit in with those slots that just effectively sits in. That's in there. There's, there's holes to line up through there, so those will just uh, lining up holes to go in there. This ring 
goes on and that piece comes out the middle like so these bits go on go from there you've got these other pieces that just lock in here just don't want to come out at the moment what do you there we go that will come out um, as you can see that is another piece in there I don't want to damage it because uh, it's quite a tight fit as you can see and that whole section comes apart that was quite a long print as you can imagine in the bottom there that goes in that way. I believe with the hole on the back. I need to check that on the drawer actually. Yeah, it's that way around. Because that is the R side, so it's got that little raised bit on that side. Let's take this whole thing apart. I printed all this back in um, February, I think it was, so it's just been sitting in some plastic bags. I just haven't had a chance to really uh, assemble it all. There we go, that bit comes apart. And that is, that is the right hand, uh, right hand legs. So I'm going to actually glue all these, these pieces in together. Uh, I'm not going to glue the whole thing together because I want to paint it individually. Um, uh, as it's a bit like an airfix model at the moment, but I'll, I'll uh, assemble all the uh, the main pieces. I've loosely uh, sanded it down, but generally it's pretty good. Um, that was a bit rough; those pieces, which I might tidy up a bit, but you hardly notice them in there. But mostly, uh, it's come together very nicely. It's um, a very nice print, and the quality is very good actually. If you can see that. They came out really well. Probably the biggest problems I've had is just getting the pieces when I was uh, uh, preparing the prints um, to get them to lay flat on the uh, in the software. Um, but uh, because when when I think uh, this uh, be, uh, be, uh, the uh, the three D sections before they're slicing, they're sort of in mid air. So just uh, in the slicer program I've got just to get them to lie flat, uh, but not that necessarily, but a lot of the pieces uh, are coming in at weird angles. But, um, so it's taken a bit of time. That's probably the longest bit in the slicing program, uh, slicing process, just to get the pieces to lie flat on the bed. Uh, and I've also had a couple of failures. I haven't actually got them here, uh, where I didn't have um, sections on, on the feet, which I've also printed, I'll show you later, weren't lying flat on the bed and uh, had a couple of failures. They were just slightly out. So um, again, slicing is taking quite a while just to just to get the, the pieces uh, properly orientated. But um, all this is printed at 10% and 0.3, so uh, it's it's fine. 10% works really well, actually. Uh, I used to print a lot thicker than that, but uh, um, I'm not going to in the future because these are very solid. So that's uh, that's the right hand leg in bits. As you saw, I've got most of the, the the left hand leg is complete, but I haven't done the greebles for it. I've printed um, the base of the R2D2 as well, the lower skirt section, which I'll show you in a few seconds. I've also done um, the feet, uh, quite a bit of that, but I only printed. I haven't even uh, uh, dry fitted it yet, so uh, see what's missing out of those bits. But I've got several bags fulls of um, printed pieces. So I've been printing solidly for the last couple of months. So I will show you the um, the skirt next. So I'll show you that in a minute. Right, there's the skirt sitting upside down. Sorry, no, sorry, sitting the correct way up, in fact. Um, so that's parts uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, which I've partly, uh, I started, well I've actually just taped it together at the moment, but I, uh, I'm going to glue it together in a few minutes. I've got most of the rings. It comes again with small little holes ready to put in. You can just see that there. 
uh, ready to put in uh, uh, 1.75 filament so you can just lock it together. That's the base. Uh, I will put the. Uh, I'll take the base off my R2D2 in a second, and you can see how it, how it sits on it. So just uh, bear with me two seconds. Okay, I've just panned the camera back a little bit, uh, just so you can see how it actually sits on the skirt. So that's the. I still haven't stuck the. Uh, this is the the base ring of the uh, of the main body, which I haven't stuck to the other two sections, uh, just so I can sort of mess around with it, and also if the new leg section would sit in there so uh, I was just sort of hanging far be before I did all of that. Let's move the camera a bit nearer so you can actually see inside. So that is the base, that's the that's the, 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 the lower skirt, that's the lower ring and then you've got the mid uh, ring and upper ring which will go on top which are sitting, I'll show you, just uh, pan down, just sitting on the floor because I've run out of space. So that is the dome. I've, I haven't yet stuck on the top, it's just easier to uh, move it around the workshop until I've got it all assembled. Um, I've made myself a little stand <laughs> to keep all the bits in. There are the legs sitting there and those boxes, those plastic boxes are actually full of printed parts. I've uh, just put it on wheels, just sitting next to my robot which is sitting standing just there because so I'm seriously short of space at the moment. Printing on the printer there is the missing greeble uh, um, for the for the legs. Now that's back down to the uh, to the base. Right that's it for a minute. So there's R2D2 semi back together again and his legs just sitting next to him and as I said those are full of parts that I've got to assemble next uh, and in another box sitting down there there's even more, more stuff I've got to uh, assemble. Well that's, that's the rest of the greebles for the legs and uh, Nigel is just keeping an eye on it. I'm reprinting also Nigel's neck which I've printed a couple of different versions but Gail's got a new version just come out, well I don't know if it's just come out but it's uh, his uh, current version, version 4 I think it is, uh, with slightly stronger um, supports uh, which I'm gonna, which I'm printing, um, I started printing anyway, so I'm going to assemble that uh, and uh, just get his net working because it's, uh, it's been sitting there not quite working for a while so uh, get him going. <laughs> 